and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to use GPT-40 in Airtable with no code. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use OpenAI's latest large language model to generate product descriptions for products we've stored in our Airtable base. So we'll use the Data Fetcher Airtable extension in order to connect our Airtable base to OpenAI's API and generate descriptions for each product in Airtable. So what we're going to do is create these descriptions today and we're going to start learning how to use this GPT-40. So in order to begin, we need to set up our table. So up here in the top left-hand corner where it says table one, we're going to retitle this as products. Select save. Then here in the name field, we're going to enter the products that we would like to have descriptions for, just like so. And then we're going to rename this notes field as description. This is where our product descriptions will be once we've generated them. So you can select save there. And we are inputting shoes in this tutorial, but you can input any product or anything at all that you want in the name field. Now we need to create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, you'll see this grid option and you can add that plus button here and retitle this as needs description. Select create new view. And now we need to give some conditions to this grid view. So make sure that is highlighted, you have clicked onto it and then select the filter option up here in this top bar. Select add condition twice. And we want for this to read as where name is not empty. So from the drop down menu, select that and then change this to description and select is empty. So that should now read like so. We can come off that and you'll see this is now highlighted in green. So with the table set up, we can move on to installing the data fetcher extension. So up in the top right hand corner, you'll see this extensions option, open that up and select add an extension. Then what we're wanting to do is search for data fetcher up here in the top right hand corner and that will appear here. Select add and select add extension. Here you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. So now it's time to import our data. So select the create your first request button and under application we're going to search for open AI just like so and that will pop up. Then we're going to retitle this request here as fetch product descriptions just like so. Now we will need to input our open API key under the authorized here. So if you need to find that, you can generate an API key in your OpenAI account. And we have this really useful little button here. So you can select click here and that will bring us to our API keys view in our OpenAI account. So once you have your API key, you can paste it in here. And then for the endpoint, we want to select create chat message completion, just like so. Select save and continue. And now we're brought to the following screen where under model, it should automatically have GPT-40. But again, you can choose this from that drop down menu. So then we have this messages option and OpenAI's API considers the text input it takes from us as messages or prompts. When we send a message to the API, we have to specify the messages role. So OpenAI has three message roles, system, user, and assistant. The system role tells GPT-40 how to behave and respond to our prompts. Since we want GPT-40 to give us product descriptions of the shoes in the products table, we'll instruct it to be an expert footwear writer. So under messages, we're wanting to type in, system, you are an expert footwear writer. Then for the user role, this is for content we actually want to send to GPT-4. So underneath what you've just inputted, we're going to add the information, generate a short description of a product with the name. Then before we hit enter, we're wanting to go over here to the right hand side to add a variable to our table. So select this plus symbol and for the table, we want for this to be the products table and for the field we want to select a name. Now for run for every record in view we do want this as needs description just like so. Select confirm and now we can press enter. Perfect. Now we want to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. Okay, great. So now we arrive to our response field mapping, and this is where we can decide which of the fields we would like to have brought into our Airtable base. OpenAI returns several fields, but we're only interested in the message field. So we're wanting to click the existing field option here, and from the drop down menu, select description. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, this request is now running. Select show output table and you can close that window over. Now you'll come back to that grid view and you can see now that that description has now automatically been generated by chat GPT 4.0 and brought into our Airtable base. So this is amazing, but at the moment you would currently need to manually run this request anytime you wanted to have a new description brought in for any new product. So instead we can have this happen automatically using data fetchers trigger feature. So this saves you the effort of manually running the request. 
test. So in order to do this, you're wanting to open up this extensions option again, and automatically you'll see that it just brings us straight back to that request that we have already created. So you can open this up just like so, and here are all of the settings that we've already created for it. So we're going to scroll down until we see this schedule trigger web hook URL option here. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. If you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do because it allows you these options for any of the data fetcher requests that you would like to run. So now what we're going to do is select this trigger option, just like so, and we're going to go ahead and select authorize down here. Select I understand, let's authorize, and then data fetcher is requesting Airtable access. So I really recommend that you select add a base and then all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces so that you only have to do this once. Select grant access, and now we can set up the request trigger. So we want to connect to OpenAI whenever a new record is created, and we want for the table to be selected as products. Then for view, we're going to select that needs description view to ensure that we only create descriptions for products with a value in the name field. Then we're going to select the save button down in the bottom right hand corner, and we can close that window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to use GPT-40 in Airtable with no code using the data fetcher extension, but if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where we also have a full length blog on this exact topic for you to learn it that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.